Hello, this is Dr. Michael Aiken, co-founder of the Flourish Cosmetic app. This is a short instructional video showing you how to get set up and using the app. Firstly, you'll need to let us know that you'd like an account by emailing your name and clinic name to flourishcosmetic at gmail.com. We'll get back to you with your URL and password. The next thing to do is click on this icon and save the address to your home screen. When you first log in, it'll look like this. First thing you want to do is click on the new patient button to add your first patient. And you'll get this standard medical history and patient information form. You can actually ask your patient to complete this in the waiting room or they can complete it at home before coming to the clinic. Whenever get, they get to the end of this sheet, they can tick these boxes and sign their name with their finger on the iPad, confirming that the details above are correct. Your patients then have the option of looking through some of the additional information provided about each of the relevant treatments, like Botox here, and closing that again. You can see there's also a dermal filler section. And once they have read through that, they don't have to sign that, of course, that is part of the full consent process with the practitioner, but they will be able to submit the form here. On returning to the home screen, you'll see the patient's record that has been added. The next thing to do would be to open up the patient's record. And here you will see a summary of the consent form for this patient I have ticked. I've said no for everything, so it's just a simple list of X's. There are, these relate to the boxes that have been ticked. This is the signature, and these are the relevant sections that still need to be completed as part of the consent procedure, and these can be done by editing and asking the patient to sign on an iPad or another device. The next thing we want to do is add a new consultation for that patient, and the first thing I always do is add a photo. Clicking the add photo button causes these two options to pop up and you select take photo or video. This switches on the phone built into your iPad or other tablet device. You will see an upload bar appear beneath the photo and whenever this tick box to select the image appears that tells you that the photo is uploaded and stored. I can take this box and press delete in order to delete photos. And you can save as many photos on there as you like. So next, after you've recorded the photos that you wish to take, you will typically go away, treat your patient, and when you come back, you'll want to record the treatments that you've just performed. There are a couple of different ways of doing this, depending on your taste. I will normally record my Botox treatments using these uh, slider menus and if I am giving the same dose right across the forehead I'll just tick this box and register my dose. Same for frown lines and crow's feet. Um, you can see there's various different options down here. We get now down to dermal filler and um, we have we typically record this using a slightly different method, which I'll show you in a moment. But you can just use these slider menus again to record the number of mils that are given in each area. There is a, a text box here at the bottom um, where you can write your kind of catch-all uh, treatments. So for example, for your filler, you could write 0.3 mil used in nasolabials by laterally plus 0.2 mils used bilaterally to deep dimples. And maybe say that I am, um, that was to the superior aspect of the nasolabial folds. That is my preferred approach, but you can also draw on the face itself, which I'll show you now. After you've saved your consultation, you can simply click on one of your photographs and you can see that I've already done some drawing on here. 
I'm just going to clear that with this button. So I can choose a color again, choose a bit of red, choose a bit of blue, black, I can clear that, or I can draw something and simply click on this area outside of the photo, close it down again. You'll see in the icon that those colors don't show up, but if you click on the icon again, you'll see that they have stayed in position on the screen and they'll be saved automatically there. You'll notice as well that the photos are all gate stamped and time stamped and the login to this page is um, actually logged also so you can tell who has added what and when it was done. You can manage your admins here. So at the minute I've just got one person here but I could add another user just like this and as you would expect with any other app um, there is a password reset for each user as needed. Well, thanks for watching. To get started in your own clinic on a free 30 day trial, simply email flourishcosmetic at gmail.com with your name and clinic name, or check out our website flourishandgrow.com.